Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm ready to show you guys my setup. I've been getting the setup ready for about a month, and it's finally done. It's ready to be showed to the world. So yeah, let's um, let's get to it. All right, y'all ready? Bam! Yeah, as you can see, it's a uh, kind of Persona 5 themed. Um. So yeah, let's just get straight into it. First off, I'm just gonna Persona 5 Royal Steel bookcase. You know, just there because yes, this is the Red Dragon Kumara. Now it's a uh, it's the only thing I couldn't customize to be all red with my RGB, but yeah, it's a mechanical red switches. I'm pretty sure. I mean, I guess that makes up it. They're being them being red switches, but not really. Um, yeah, that's the keyboard. It's a uh, sixty percent, so it goes up here, so I don't have to like have my WAs my WAs fingers here. I can just keep it there. Also, yeah, I do play with like kind of tilted keyboard. I used to play like this, but now I'm just like I have to do this so that I have room for my phone right here. So, <laughs> but yeah, I. have yeah, this is the keyboard. Over here we got another Red Dragon thing. This is a mouse, Red Dragon mouse. It's pretty, it's actually pretty big. Uh, oops, I did something. Nope, that. Um, yeah, it's a. Uh, don't remember what it's called. It's just a bunch of numbers and letters, basically. Um, but it's got RGB DPI settings. Oops. Okay, I thought I pressed it. I'm glad I didn't get that. Nope, I did press it. Great, I need to find red again. Is that it? Okay. <laughs> the DPI settings and... Nope, that... What are you doing? Okay. Don't change colors. Don't change colors! Stay red, please. Blinking red? No. Breathing red. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. This is a really confusing mouse. I don't like to mess with the DPA or colors, so I just leave it. Um, and then we got this mouse pad, which came with the mouse. It's also has RGB. It has different settings, you know. It's got different colors, and you can, like... It's got the solid colors. It's got the, you know, rainbow RGB if you're just going for that. And, yeah, I'm just going to leave it on red because, you know, persona. It should be breathing red. Where is the breathing red? Is this it? There we go. Um, alright, to the monitor, this is from Pixlr, I'm pretty sure. Um, I don't remember the model name. I'm not good at remembering model names. But it's, a uh, 1080p, 140, 120, not 100, not quite 144, but it's fine. Um... Hertz, four milliseconds response time, and yeah, it's a uh, actually slightly curved. You can see that from the top. It's it's nothing much. You can't really can't really tell. But this was the main reason it took me so long to get this. I've been getting this. I basically got this all for my birthday, but this was taking forever to get here. Before that was my monitor. It's a 900p, 75 hertz monitor and it, it, it's super small I wouldn't want to make a setup video with that mo with that monitor so I waited for this to come and it came today so yeah um let's go ahead and go over, he go over here we got a Corsair headset don't remember what it's called but yeah it's Corsair headset look at that cable management it's great yeah it's got a removable microphone so if I need to talk to the boys or Whatever, I got a microphone, or when I'm recording. Um, and then this, this bad boy here, this is the PC itself. This is not a pre-build, I made this. I bought all the parts and I built it. You can even see the boxes of some of the parts I kept. First off, let's get this out of the way. Joker mask, you know, Persona 5 theme. Got all the red, gotta get the Joker mask. So yeah, um, 
Now let's go inside the case. You can't really see that much, but I'll do my best. Um, next to the RAM, uh, can't see anything, but yeah, we got a Ryzen 5 3600 in there. Though that RAM is a uh, 32 gigabytes of Corsair Vengeance 3200 megahertz DDR4. 30, I know 32 is a lot of a lot of RAM, but it's it wasn't on purpose. My mom was supposed to buy a two pack thing, a set of a 16 gigabyte kit with two eight sticks, and then he, she bought two kits, and so I got 32 gigabytes. And I mean, I guess I'm I'm not complaining, but I mean, I could have used that. It was like a hundred dollars for a kit, so I could have used that on like a put it into a better GPU, but it's fine. Um, GPU. <laughs> we got the Radeon RX 580. It's a, um, obviously from AMD. It's really, it's really good for 1080p. Pretty high settings. I mean, if I put them at pretty high, I won't get the best performance. I mean, it's, it's, I'll still get like over 60, I'm pretty sure, but yeah, 1080p good for gaming. Um, under there, you can't really see it, but I have an M.2 SSD. It's Crucial P1 SSD. Got 500 gigabytes on it. You see this for the operating system. It's three games, which I'll show you. I uh, use Minecraft, because Minecraft only a gigabyte. I mean, why not put it on the SSD? Destiny, and Final Fantasy, so. Yeah, and everything else here is on a different drive, which is, you can't actually see it in this case, because it's in this little compartment. That's why it closed off. Um, it's a three terabyte regular spinning hard drive, mechanical hard drive. So yeah, I just do that for a bunch of games that I don't play as often, and um, all my like recordings from OBS. I already have like almost a hundred gigabytes of just recordings, just videos from OBS. So yeah. Um, and then, uh, what else? Uh, we got this, the EVGA 500 watt, you can't really see it, I'm sorry, but it's a 500 watt power supply, it's more than enough for this system. Uh, the motherboard, uh, Gigabyte, it's a Gigabyte B450M DS3H, so original, originally the, when this originally came out, it didn't support Ryzen 3000 chips, I mean, it didn't support Ryzen 3000, um, CPUs, but they re-released it. So that it comes out of the box prepared. But, so yeah, um, I got the re-release version, so I didn't have to take an AMD boot kit to update the BIOS. That would have sucked. Um, now, the case. This is the Thermaltake Versa H18T. Right? I hope I said that right. Um, but, yeah, it's a nice case. The T stands for tempered glass, so I can look inside. Um, it came with one fan. I am getting more. I have some more right there. I just haven't put them in yet because my motherboard only has a single fan header. So I'm waiting for, I ordered a splitter and it's on its way. I don't know when it'll get here, but when it gets here, I'll put the fans in so that this, okay, this fan that came with the case is acting as an exhaust fan. There's a spot up here, which I'm gonna use for exhaust. I'm gonna put one here and then I'm gonna put two in the front as intake so I'll have two here taking air from the outside putting it in and then two blowing it out from both the top and the back so yeah um the case itself it's got power button right here uh USB 3 and then two USB 2's and yeah um yeah that's basically the setup um yeah, I hope you guys liked the setup. Uh, I really like it. So, if you guys did like it, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss a video. I will be getting back to Final Fantasy 15 soon. Don't worry. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.